Hi, I'm Dave Granger, and I'd like to welcome you to the Guilds Classics. This is a YouTube channel that showcases the various skills, talents, and crafts that the employees here use to restore people's cars. My name is Scott. Uh, I'm a technician here at the Guild. I've been working on this 1967 Plymouth Belvedere, uh, rebuilding the engine. Uh, we had to figure out why he had low compression on one of his cylinders, uh, why he was having power loss, and uh, we found out it was a head gasket issue. The block mating surface to the head was actually had a divot in it. I don't know if it was previous workmanship or warpage caused by the extreme use, but the block itself had a significant depression in the mating surface. So that was causing more pressure than necessary on that part of the head gasket, which eventually caused it to blow out. Low compression basically means that there's something going wrong within that specific cylinder, which is causing it to not create the same seal as the other cylinders, uh, whether that be a a valve problem, a ring problem, a head gasket problem. There's a million different reasons for a low compression scenario. Basically the compression is the power of the engine. If you're if you have no compression, you have no power. So from what we know of this engine, it is it was a 360 that was bored out to 408 and every piece of this motor has been has been touched essentially. We have Edelbrock top end, so intake manifold, heads, and quick fuel carburetor, and has full header system. All very, very good high-end equipment. Uh, the Edelbrock, especially the Performer RPM series, they've been engineered so that the flow in and out is just exponentially better than the factory heads could ever produce. I believe the valves to be also different sizes to, to accommodate all that airflow. All the valve train has been upgraded from flat tappet rockers to roller rockers. Essentially every piece was built for performance racing. Whenever you're rebuilding an engine the most important thing is your specs. Every specification you can find it's just another piece of the puzzle and put it all back together properly. It couldn't be more pronounced in things like connecting rod bolts, head bolts, and uh, main bearing bolts. They're extremely sensitive to torque. Uh, luckily, this, this customer has ARP hardware, which is an upgrade. We're not putting in our torque to yield hardware with this one because the ARP studs have that much more margin for error They're, and they hold that much tighter. You mark everything just so you can put it back exactly the same way it came out. Engines, especially with already broken in components, have worn in a certain way and they don't like to be changed position. Changing the position of a piston that hasn't been installed yet isn't that big of an issue. These have worn in specifically to their cylinders. The journals have worn specifically to the to the bearings of the rods and you got to make sure that you put everything back the same way so that those same tolerances are maintained otherwise you'll have noises and problems that are there that weren't there before other than that the simplicity of these motors it makes for an easier job than the newer more complicated motors even though they are essentially the same thing final assembly steps would be torquing all the bolts from the torque converter, checking all your all the connections everywhere, checking torque on all fasteners that were touched in the job. On cars like this and on a car that has been to a different shop, it is worth it to, uh, to go over and check things that you didn't even touch just in case something was missed or something was loose. It makes for more peace of mind on everybody's part. So now that we're finished the engine rebuild on, on this car, we're gonna put the hood back on, do some testing, and uh, hopefully get it back to the customer before we run out of warm weather. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want more information, visit our podcast. The uh, link is in the description below.